All right, boys and girls, here we are. We are getting ready to start our 30-day or 31-day um, shelter at home order. So I thought, you know what, I'm <clears throat> not going to be able to get out and do a whole lot, so I thought let's do a devotion, something that we haven't done online ever. So I thought, hey, let's give it a shot. So I wanted to start with um, Psalm 27, and this is one that um, David wrote. It says, um, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. David knows a little bit about fear. He was always concerned about Saul trying to kill him. So I thought, what are the things that we can be afraid of now? Well, <clears throat> clowns, needles, spiders, Ooh. And, of course, the ever-fluffy little rodent, the mouse. Well, another thing that people are afraid of now is maybe spending time with families. The coronavirus, of course. Um, but what is it that we really need to be afraid of? I mean, all of these things, well, maybe except for some deranged clowns, can kill you. They can kill your body. But if there's anything that anyone would ever be afraid of, maybe it would be Satan. But why would we be afraid of Satan? You see, one of the things that was really cool about what Jesus did is that he died on the cross. And when he died on the cross, he defeated, defeated sin death and of course that old adversary the devil people afraid are afraid of the devil because he is the great deceiver what if he trips me up what if he causes me to lose my faith well you know this is what's the great thing about all this we have the holy spirit in the waters of holy baptism you were given the gift of the holy spirit the holy spirit is poured into your heart so even though Satan might try to trip you up, try and might, Satan might try to uh, make you feel as if you're no longer one of God's children, he can't. He won't. The Holy Spirit is with you. The Holy Spirit will keep you in the one true faith. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all these um, great kids who I get to work with on a weekly basis, and I pray that you would be with them throughout this uh, time away from school and friends. Bless the time with their families. Help them, Lord, to be able to trust in you, um, even though there may be fears, things that uh, cause them doubt, things that uh, make them struggle with their faith. Help them to remember, Lord, that you are with them, that your uh, spirit is in them, guiding them and keeping them in the word. And you ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Before you leave, don't forget, stay in God's word. It'll help keep you in the faith. Go in peace.